Hello everyone and welcome back to the 41 part tutorial of how to model a basketball court arena where we, where we will continue our basketball hoop. Okay, this went well, somewhat. So, listen up. This time it's going to be a little bit long uh, part and the reason is because I want to explain something. I was uh, struggling in order to in how to continue uh, this part because I wanted to do something and it really took me a lot of time to uh, manage and you know uh, succeed on practicing on doing so and I'm allowing myself to light a cigarette as well at the time and I'm gonna show you something and from there I will show you what I've done in order to accomplish the this though I'm not sure how it will when how, how it will go when we actually will do it so um, the thing is that if I'm gonna open the reference picture here uh, dum -dum -dum -dum, this folder here and this one and click open okay so you can see here the pipe is just um, you know screwed to this element here and the way that it's screwed if I will minimize this and try to show you in Maya that way I'm gonna create two things here those two elements here those cubes and I'm gonna put the pipe here okay so this is like the pipe now the thing is that if it were straight like that and I had to assemble this into you know um, this top corner of our board then it will be very easy to create this I mean if it goes like that if you take a look at the corner just like that and you have this piece of metal underneath it so that's pretty simple to do I mean like that okay that is simple that is very simple and we can do this I mean why not as long that this uh, corner uh, this, this pipe is caught in between those two with a screw in there then that goes through here that way okay through here then that's all good and we can be satisfied with that and the problem is that it's not like that and what's going on there it's basically like those two yeah I'm gonna combine them so I can move them in as one unit they are like <coughs> position like that like 45 degrees uh, this is 30 degrees I need 45 so they are positioning position that way and this is where it becomes problematic now in order to assemble those two as one unit with this thing in this way this is going to be very uh, it, it's going to look very unprofessional if it's your, the first time you're trying to do something such as this I'm almost sure it won't be like the most professional and I was trying to do it like two or three four times I don't know and really for each time I set like uh, between 30 minutes to 45 minutes and one of them even a little bit longer and as much that I was trying to solve this uh, it's just becoming more frustrating and I thought that I will just drop this and leave it to um, you know for you to decide what you want to do with it now then I sat and I took a plane just like this with default settings of subdivision with 10 and subdivision height of 10 and I enlarged this scaled it up like so and what I've done is I'm going to show you what I've done and then we will do this but with two okay so it's going to be like this now pay attention that we are not uh, we are not like creating this right now 
as for the corner there because uh, we will need to probably first of all measure how and if it fits the you know the diameter of the pipe i mean the distance in between those two um two plates that extruding up from here so i'm gonna bring this and i'm gonna extrude this up just a little bit that way like this was the plate and press f8 okay so i have this thing now i can actually work so what i've done was i was taking a multi-cut multi-cut tool and for you it's I forgot the name for it in Maya 2014, but anyway, I was clicking here, clicking here, clicking here, clicking here, and clicking here, and right click to close this. Then I chose to grab all the inner edges here, okay, that way, simply shift right delete them, okay. Now. I need to deal with the outer edges. I need to set them in a way that this will be, first of all, it will remain quadratic and the topology basically. And this is where it comes a little bit uh, annoying. So what I've done was uh, to take this, 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 and that, and this, 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 and that, and this two, and this two, and these two. Okay, and I will simply shift right click delete them as well. Now, I chose to do something like so. I took the multi-cut tool, click here, click here, and click here, and click here, right click, click here, click here, right click, and same here. Now I have two triangles here, so I need to connect them, right? So, I took this edge, control right click, edge ring until this to edge ring and split. And that gives me a nice cut that way. Now, I need to um, extrude this one, okay, these two. And I need to extrude them this way, tap on one of those cubes, and do something such as this. So right now it goes well and the frame is almost equal. <coughs> it's not that equal, but it's equal. I can click here and it won't give me, uh, you know, a better way how to uh, scale this. So those two, you see those are stretching a little bit more than those. So I probably will need to rotate my camera that way. Sorry. And grab this one and this one at a time and simply middle mouse click here and manually bring them into a position that to somewhat look okay like an even frame okay and we'll do the same here just like that i will press f8 to bring it back to object mode now i can safely grab those two and extrude them in this direction now what's good about this is that i have already this one here in the middle okay now I want to add supporting edges in order to make this maintained, right? So I'll first go over here, add one here and one here, and this will maintain the upper part and the lower part uh, maintained. Now I want to add one edge loop here and one edge loop here and you see this is becoming problematic but it's adding this edge there and it's crossing all the way here and we can continue it because there is no problem with it we can continue it, continue it over here and if I will add those two here I will have something to connect it to so I will add this one and I will add this one and I need to do this over this side as well. Well, here it goes a little bit weird. Let's do this here, that way. Okay. So, 
Um, I have uh, second thoughts about this. I'm gonna undo that. <coughs> Let's see. Press F8. Bring this back to object mode. I need to add them. Basically, like bringing this first to here or something. And this one maybe as well over here. Okay. And let me press three. Take a look at this. Okay, for for right now the topology is good, but I need to add this edge loop here, edge ring into this, edge ring and split. So now this triangle here becomes quad, and that's fixing this. So it looks that way. Um, now I need to see how I'm gonna add those edge loops that I try to add, though right now, for some reason, they are refusing to be added correctly. So I'm gonna try this again. I'm gonna put one here, and because <coughs> This is not continuing over here. I'm gonna add this over here and simply connect them from the top right away so I won't forget about them. And I wanna see what the path they are going. Okay, so this one goes over here and it will need to continue over there. Okay, and I need to redirect it somehow. So let's <coughs> let's add the other ones and see where they are they are going. I'm gonna add this one over here and this one over here. Okay. Now pay attention, they are still quads. Everything here is quads, though still need to connect them in some proper way well this one hasn't been connected let's do this again okay <coughs> now let's see what's going on here so this one is going that way and we can uh, let me first sneeze no sneezing, I don't know why, never mind. Okay, so we have this here, we have those two that are passing this way, and I don't want them to pass this way, to tell you the truth, it's just a little bit bugging me, but let's see. Maybe I will do something like such as this. Now, the reason why I'm thinking now is <laughs> basically because I didn't add in mind like connecting them from the other side so I will have to do this that way and I already created another triangle here so maybe I will try to avoid this in some way oh 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 okay okay I will undo that I'm gonna add two more edge loops one here that way and one edge loop here, that way. So now it will give me a little bit more options to uh, to think about. So I'm gonna grab this one and this one, and this one and that one. <coughs> Let's see, I'm not sure they connected. Let's use the merge vertex tool to fix this. Okay. This one, and probably need to connect those here as well. Multi cut tool. So, this one, that sweet one, and this one. Uh, that one. Okay, they are not really attached correctly, so I'm gonna fix whatever there is to fix here 
this one with that one, this one with that one. And that's all good. Let's press 3 and see this. See there is a problem here still yet, even though we connect them. Yes, it's here. So now let's press 3 and that looks good. So now we can press F8 and bring it back to object mode. So, uh, now let's just have a look at this. I just want to make sure that everything here is quads as it's supposed to be. So you see, it looks like a leaf, some kind of a leaf here. And it's really okay. Now there, there is no problem to, um, you know, assemble a hole here. You can do something such as this, chamfer this, add those extra edge loops here and do whatever you need. Now, basically we need two of them, okay? And this is where the problems become because we need to amount the same figure exactly here, right? So we need much more space for this, I mean. Now, I'm going to leave you with this, okay? I just wanted to show you this. I think that this is just a preparation for the next part where we, where we will actually do this. Because this is just a little bit more complicated than I thought. And I really wanted you to first uh, get a clear idea of why I'm doing this and how I'm doing this. But yeah, this is it for now. We're going to continue the next part. I don't know how long this part. It's already 60 minutes. So I'm going to wrap this part and I will meet you at the next part where we will actually do this. We will have two of them, not just one as like here. We will have two different types of uh, three different, three different, uh, three, two, two.